in the middle of Sacramento State's busy student union. You can write something that you're grateful for on this rock and you can take it with you. An invitation to stop and be grateful for anything. I just wrote my friends because during like COVID, I like didn't get to interact with anybody. Students in a class called the Psychology of Happiness organized this event to share what they've learned. If you practice gratitude and happiness, you make more money, you sleep better, you have um, better health. It's just, I've been surprised by how many benefits there are. We have like a little booth around the corner. So they set up gratitude stations where people could express their gratitude on rocks, on slips of paper, in letters. Hi, Professor Shah. I'd like to thank you for offering me position of student assistant. You are an amazing professor, one of my favorites. I'll remain grateful for considering me. You're always so positive and funny. I hope you and your family are doing well. Crystal King. Those students told us writing those letters made them happy. And research shows the benefits could also range from less fatigue to lower levels of systemic inflammation. There are different ways to practice gratitude and it brings on a lot of benefits to the individual. Dr. Melikshant Demir is Sac State's very first endowed professor in happiness. These are his students. Why would practicing gratitude have a physical benefit like better sleep? When you practice gratitude, it has the potential to give you the sense of peace, comfort which is likely to help you say, you know, before bedtime to, to breathe easily, you know, and then comfortably sleep. Perhaps this could be one um, reason as to why we are observing those, you know, benefits in the sleep domain. And practicing gratitude can impact many other areas. I'm more connected with my spouse. I'm more connected with my friends and my family. I really appreciate being at school, which has made me more excited about what I'm learning and getting better grades. There are lots of ways to get there with a gratitude journal or even a little tree like this. Right now we have people who are grateful for their family, their friends, their car, uh, their dog. And while there's no one one way to practice gratitude turns out there is a wrong way. To me, for instance, writing gratitude letters, I write two a year, and then uh, more than two is just overwhelming for me. But uh, for some people, it might be they uh, can write a gratitude letter maybe every other month, you know, six letters a year. That's fantastic for you. The challenge is to find the right dose for us. It shouldn't become a burden. It shouldn't overwhelm us because, and it shouldn't lose its, its novelty. So back to the letters written by the students, there's clearly a benefit for the writers. I'm taking these letters and hopefully going to deliver them. How about the recipients? We followed along to find out. We asked students to sit down and write a letter to one of their faculty members, and a student wrote this for you. Oh, thank you. Am I supposed to be Yeah. Right now? Okay. You can open it. Turns out there's also research into this part of gratitude, receiving it. Dr. Young, I'm very grateful to have met you last semester. You have been such an inspiration for me and someone I look up to. Since my recent struggles in life, you have been the only one to listen and guide me and will always be and I will always be happy you've been in my life. There is research showing that the recipients of gratitude acts, they are also reporting reporting increased well-being. So it's just a win-win situation. You uh, delivering the message, expressing gratitude, it makes you happy, contributes to your well-being. The person who is on the other end receiving gratitude, they are also benefiting from this experience as well, this gesture. I'm grateful that they are grateful for me, and it definitely makes this something that I want to do every day. Edie Lambert, KCRA 3 News. That's pretty awesome. Edie has more ideas for practicing gratitude and links to the research. You'll find all of that right now on the KCRA 3 News app and on KCRA.com. Just a little bit happier after watching that story. A little bit more oh, gratitude yeah. in the heart, you know? Yeah. It's awesome.